Christmas with the Cratchits, rehearsals, November 2018. Peter, Matthew, Belinda, Lucy, Marta, where is everyone? Mama, the potatoes are done. Mama, Mama, I was outside at the baker's getting rolls. And we smelled the goose. And I knew our Christmas feast was ready just by the smell of sage and onions. What has ever got your precious father then? And your brother Tiny Tim? And Martha weren't as late last Christmas by half an hour. Here's Martha, Mother. Here's Martha, Mother. Hurrah! There's such a goose, Martha. Mother, I'm home for Christmas. Why, bless your heart alive, my dear, how late you are. We'd a great deal of work to finish up, Mother. Well, never mind, so long as you are come. Sit ye down before the fire, my dear, and have a war. Lord bless ye. No, no. There's Father coming. Hide, Martha, hide. Why, where's our Martha? Not coming. <laughs> Not coming? Not coming for Christmas? This Christmas? Never, Father. How did Tim behave in church? Tim behaved as good as gold and better. I see Mr. Scrooge kept you late again, even on Christmas Eve. Emily, yes. He said Christmas was a humbug and was chattering on. Something about not being convenient to give me the day off tomorrow being ill-used and picking a man's pocket. But when I reminded him it was only once a year, he relented and gave me the day off. But Emily, I must be in earlier the next day. Come, children, let's check the goose. Hurrah. Oh dear, I don't believe there ever was such a goose cooked. It may not be as large as the one at the house where I work, but I'm sure you are the better cook, Mother. It is so tender. The flavor is so rich. It may have been a small goose, but with the potatoes, rolls, onions, and apples, it was more than enough. Suppose it's not done enough. Suppose it should break in turning out. Suppose somebody should fly over the wall of the backyard to store while we were mad at the goose. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful pudding. I must confess, I had my doubts about the quantity of flour. Mother, if I can learn to make a pudding such as this, I will be working as a cook in no time. This is the sweetest Christmas pudding. It tastes like heaven, Father. Do you believe there is Christmas pudding in heaven every day? Tim, I believe there is pudding in heaven every day and there is Christmas in heaven every single day. A Merry Christmas to us all, my dears, and God bless us. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. God bless us, everyone. To the founder of the feast, Mr. Scrooge. The founder of the feast, indeed. I wish I had him here. I'd give him a piece of mind, my mind to feast upon, and I hope he'd have a good appetite for it. My dear, the children, Christmas. It should be Christmas, I am sure, on, what, on which one drinks the health of such an odious, stingy, hard, unfeeling man as Mr. Scrooge. You know he is, Robert. Nobody knows it better than you do, poor fellow. For the day's sake, then? I'll drink his health for your sake and the day's, not for his. Long life to him. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I have no doubt he'll be very merry and very happy. And very alone. He refused his nephew's Fred's invitation to dinner. Peter, 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 I have word of an apprenticeship for you to start this spring. If you prove yourself, you'd bring in a full five and six pence weekly. <laughs> Peter, businessman? An apprentice, there is a difference. Where I work, I help the milliner's family. My day begins before sunup. I stoke the fire and heat the water for tea. I set the table, clear the dishes, and do the washing up. Then I have to help in the shop all day. After supper, I have to help clear and do more washing up. 
once my work for the family is done, if I do not have to don my socks or mend my skirts, I can finally find my bed just before midnight. I mean to lie in bed tomorrow morning for a good long rest, since I will be home for it is Christmas. show weak eyes to your father when he comes home. It must be near his time. Past it. He's walked a little slower now, mother. I used to see him walk very fast indeed with Tiny Tim on his shoulder. Peter? And so have I, often. And so have I. But he was very light to carry and his father loved him so that it was no trouble at all. Here he comes now. Don't mind it, Father. Don't be grieved. Oh, my dear family, I see you've been very busy. It will be done long before Sunday, then. Sunday? So you went today, did you, Robert? Yes, my dear. I wish you could have gone. Yes, it's such a lovely place. But then you see it often. I promised him we'd go there, my little child. <sighs> Excuse me. I met Mr. Scrooge's nephew in the street today. I had scarcely seen him but once, and he looked a little down. When I asked him why, he said, I am heartily sorry for your loss, and heartily sorry for your good wife. By the by, how he ever knew that, I do not know. Knew what, my dear? <laughs> Why, that you were a good wife. Everybody knows that. Well observed, my boy, and I hope they do. Heartily sorry, he said, for your good wife. He gave me his card and said, that's where I live, if I could be of any service to you in any way. Well, I was quite delighted, but not for the sake of anything he might be able to do for us, but for his kind words. It really seemed that he had known our tiny Tim and that he felt with us. I'm sure he's a good soul. You would be sure of it, my dear, if you saw and spoke to him. I shouldn't at all be surprised if he got Peter an apprenticeship before the first of the year. Only hear that, Peter. And then Peter will be keeping company with someone and setting up for himself. Get along with you! It was just as likely as not one of these days, though there's plenty of time. But however, and whenever we part from one another, I am sure we shall not, none of us, forget poor Tiny Tim, shall we? Or this first parting that was among us. Never, Father! And I know when we recollect how patient how mild he was. Although he was little, a little child, we shall never quarrel easily among ourselves and forget poor Tiny Tim in doing it. No, no never, never father. father. You all know that I am sad for our loss, but I am happy we are together and happy for what Tim has taught us. I am happy that it is Christmas and I wish all of us the merriest and the happiest of Christmases. Silent night, holy night. That's a hit! So, <laughs> welcome to the Cratchit family story. But the story does not end here. Please, please meet us back here or throughout the entire incorporated village of Port Jefferson. Pick up a booklet. There are shows with Scrooge, shows with the Cratchit, shows with the, uh, the child named Oliver. <laughs> and also stay tuned to see an, an alternative ending to the story when Scrooge 
reaches reclamation and has a transformation. And our gift this year is there are more children in the town than ever. So if you see one of them running around, ask them if they know a song so you can keep them busy. Thank and you. If, and if they're a cratchit, send them home so we can have dinner. <laughs> the rehearsal, November 2018.